I had a stringer in mind that I wanted to do, which I didn't know how I was going to get to that point, but it was going to be a process. And my friend Josh Martin, uh, he had stumbled onto some wood that was very old, 3,400-year-old sequoia. So I got my hands on that. Over the next month and a half or so, I milled up all the wood and glued all the stringer together and, and glued the blank. What I did to cut the, the stringers was I glued together, well first I milled the wood into two half inch pieces and then I milled up my T-band stringers and then what I did was I glued spruce and sequoia together. So I had a half inch spruce, half inch sequoia that were 10 feet long, six inches tall. And then once those were glued together, I, I put them on the uh, table saw and just clipped off half inch pieces, 504 of them. <laughs> I just took my time with the cuts because of uh, the indexing was definitely, the wheels could fall off of that really quick when you started gluing up the stringer. So I was just real careful. It just seemed like you really wanted to have 100% coverage on all the wood, but you didn't want a bunch of glue squeezing out. So it was just really done by feel. You did a couple and kind of got a rhythm of how much glue and everything to use. And then just, I just glued it. And about every two feet, I just clamped it, and pounded it back and just kept indexing. The indexing was definitely the most difficult. I glued tail blocks for years. So this was just like gluing up a giant tail block. Got a, uh, a 98Y classic weight from US Blanks and they split it for me and I glued it early in the morning and it was foggy that day and so there was a lot of moisture in the air so you spritz, you, you put the glue on the wood and then you spritz the blank itself with just a little bit of water and slap it together real tight and, and just move really quick. Before I started the project, I wanted a board that was really foiled, just really, really pinched all the way through to where when somebody put that under their arm, it didn't feel like a board that you could walk into any surf shop and put under your arm. Started looking at a couple different boards earlier on with uh, Royce Kanzler. He had a real nice skip fry from late 67, which was probably, in my opinion, one of the best foiled long boards at the time. And, just really clean looking, everything about it. So at that point I kind of decided I had a stringer and I had a plan shape idea. But I didn't know what I wanted to do with the rails or the foil or anything, so. And then that came to me at about two in the morning. I got up, came down here and pulled a blank out of stock and off I went. I built four boards before I built the final one. And then Royce came in and goes, why don't you build another one so I can write it and see what I think? So I built one and he wrote it and he liked it. So that's where we were, we were off and running at that point. So that was the second one. Then the third one I shaped the morning uh, that I did the actual board for the show, just as a warm-up board. And then I went right into the, uh, the Ultimate Craftsman board after that. So both of them were shaped and then I went out and glassed them both at the same time, just as so I could just get a feel for his, what everything, the ambient temperature and everything was. I just wanted everything to just go real smooth. And the, the judges that have been chosen for this are all at the top of the game. I have a lot of respect for what they do and have achieved in their life. I don't know that there's going to be a shock and awe because I know the other three guys are going to bring something that's really, really nice to look at too. And I'm sure they've put a lot of energy and effort into their project. I'm kind of interested to see what they come up with. I think I have probably two months into the board. I know I have 21 hours just in gluing the blank up, cutting, milling. I don't know, I, I would probably be pretty confident there's 40 hours in the board. Do you envision anybody riding this at any time? It's a rider. It's a rider. And absolutely.